It's a skin disorder so rare that only nine out of every one million people are diagnosed with it. And now a Wisconsin boy is in Minnesota where doctors are hoping they can help him. Chris Conti's live tonight with more of his story. Chris. Tom, the disease is called epidermolosis bullosa. Essentially, it means four-year-old Charlie Canoe's skin doesn't hold together quite right, leaving him with open wounds on nearly every single inch of his little body. After four years, Trisha Knuth has become used to the stares she often gets. You know, I can understand why people stare because, you know, they're shocked. But those moments don't bother her much anymore. <laughs> because she knows there's a whole lot more to her son, Charlie. I love you, Mommy. I love you too, Charlie. Than just cuts and bandages. And he's so happy. You know, how could you be happy like this? He's so happy. There has never been anything easy about four-year-old Charlie's life, starting from the time his birth parents abandoned him. It hurts? Yeah. Why does it hurt? It's grass. But it's now the open sores he has from head to toe that hurt the most. Is this Alex? They're even in his mouth and eyes, and it's all because of a skin disorder called epidermolosis bullosa. As of right now, if there's any exposed skin anywhere, he'll damage it. After the Canutes adopted Charlie, he was covered by Wisconsin Medicaid. But they denied treatment for a possible cure because it could cost more than a million dollars. He'll fix my skin. He's going to fix your skin? Yep. Lawmakers have fixed that, and Charlie is now at the Ronald McDonald House hoping to finish the fight. I just need it to be a little better for him. I need it to be, um, I need it to make his life worth living. It's now up to doctors here at Children's Hospital in Minneapolis to make Charlie's skin tougher, procedures that will include chemotherapy and a stem cell transplant. But there's no guarantees any of it will work. So Charlie knows that his hair is going to fall out. He knows he's going to get very sick. He knows all these things and he's very excited to do it anyway. <laughs> Every parent just wants their kid to enjoy being a kid. Trisha Knuth is no different, but she knows that if this doesn't work, Charlie doesn't stand much of a chance. And he is so severe um, that I don't think he would make it past childhood. For now though, they're keeping their heads up and have no problem staring at their little boy who has taught them so much. Charlie has his first appointments tomorrow morning in Minneapolis. His chemotherapy is scheduled for the 20th, and that stem cell transplant will hopefully take place at the end of the month. Live in the studio, Chris Conti, KTTC News Center.